Hello and welcome to another demo from MicroStrategy Rooster. Today's topic is basically the fundamental part about how to treat or how to deal with dashboards, whether before starting or after you finish a dashboard. What really we're trying to cover is the the foundation, the templates and the exports and how does a dashboard interact with the rest of the environment. You will not find a lot of documentation on this topic, but it's very critical. So first thing, let me show you how to interact. So once you build a dashboard, let's say we're taking a dashboard that's pre-built. Once you build a dashboard in one source, you want to migrate it to somewhere else. Well, if you're using the same metadata, you, use, you would might move it with the object manager. But what if you build a dashboard for one project source at a client and you wanted to reuse it for a different client, but you didn't want to go through the effort of rebuilding it. It was great, you liked it, you just want to move it from one source to another. Well, unfortunately, there's little you can do with the object manager because the, the metadata have to match. But what you could do is you navigate to the dashboard that you want to move or migrate, and you go to your tools and you export it. Okay, so my export to dashboard. And it's a type RST. I'm going to save it in the desktop folder so I can find it. Successful, great. And now what I can do is I can import it. So I can go to my new project source or my new move it, save it on a flash disk, take it over to a different machine. And now I can import my exported dashboard. And notice what will bring up a document reconciliation editor. What it's showing here, it's showing that this is the this is the data set that was used in that dashboard, and here's all the metrics and attributes. Now, something critical here: when you replace, you're going to click on the select. But if your option, the replacement, doesn't have at least the same number of metrics and same number of attributes, at least you will get a mismatch. Why? Because there's going to be something in the template that that is unknown; it cannot map it. So what we're trying to do here is say. For all these in the source, I'm going to have to find one mapping for them. So this replacement needs to have at least this number of metrics and at least this number of attributes. So it's very critical. So let me show you when you don't abide by that. So let's say randomly we go to a report. Uh, let's select any report. Let's say customer income. See, look at it says the invoice report must contain at least eight attributes. So the source has eight attributes. Yours, the one I just selected, has only three. Choose another report. Obviously, that's that's a good catch. You don't want this to be happening, right? Because you don't want to have a mismatch when you're migrating. So what you need to do is find an, a report. I created this report, which has the same number of metrics and attributes, at least, so that it will allow me to go to the next step. All right, so once I get this in, there's a match. It works. So now if you notice there's gaps because it doesn't know what, what you want it to be. Order total, what do you want it to be? Well, maybe you want it to be the average something. All right, so what you could do is you could start replacing items. Let's move this one first. Okay. Uh, customer, so move it here. What else can I move? Notice I can't move a metric in an attribute folder or the opposite. Can't move this guy here. But let's expand a little. And let me try to. All right, so you follow what I'm doing. I'm matching. Obviously, they're not going to be the same name, but you know, what you're saying is that. The dashboard is going to treat these units the same way it treated this un these units. Now, this might not always work ideally. You might you will obviously have to go and customize more, but you get the point here, right? This is a pretty neat. Okay, so I'm gonna. So once you're done, you just exit. Okay. And I don't want to save. Okay. So that was the importing and exporting between different project sources using the RST. So the next step is to create templates. So how do you create a template? Well, if you go and try to create a new doc 
document, you will be asked to use a blank template or use one of these pre-built templates. But what if you have a report that you want to use it as a template going forward? Well, go and locate your report. Let's say this one here. Copy it. I'm just going to use the control C. Go to object templates hidden folder under dashboards. Control V. I just copied it here. So now when I go and create a new dashboard, I will see my new or my chosen uh, dashboard as one of the templates available for me. Okay, so that's how we reuse different uh, or reuse different da dashboards across uh, different or across new designs. Okay, and one more thing before we go in is the type of export that you're allowed to. So I'm going to go and look at the project configuration and I'm going to go to my export settings. There's export to flash file format. So this is useful to use as PhD as PDF rather an MHT. Depends if you need the HTML type of dynamic or PDF. Both of them will be dynamic. It'll save your flash export. I typically use the PDF. I find it more convenient for emailing, etc. But you could use the MHT and send a file and supporting documents. So this will create a bunch of documents. This will be all, all in one kind of thing. They're all. It's the same concept. You can email the MHT file. You can email the PDF because this will be bundled up. But this one is just for me, just easier to use. Okay. So use the PDF for exporting your documents. Okay. If you're not sure and it's telling me it needs to restart but I'm not going to do that now okay so one last thing let's go in and create a new dashboard from blank there's obviously these bunch of them that you can that you can use that are designed in different ways but I like the blank And the first thing you need to do is select the data set because every dashboard has at least one data set. So let's just use customer summary. All right, great. So here's your blank, you know, slate that you can start designing with. Okay. And you've noticed by default, you'll be in layout one. Now, if you only have one layout, you could always get rid of that from the document properties. And you say, you know what? I do not want to see that layout. So that tab goes away because you only have one layout. But you can always insert multiple layer layouts. So I can insert a new layout. And again, it's going to prompt me which template design do you want? I'm going to use another blank. See now I have two layouts. Okay. And each layout can look differently. Okay. And in the mobile apps, each layout can be a new swipe if you think about it. You could also instead of adding a blank one you could have added another one or your template there's one more thing that you could do with these let's see you could import into a layout so you could import a pre-built dashboard say store sales you can import it into a new layout so now you have a dashboard that you created separately that becomes a layout in your new design okay and it's going to pull with it its data sets as well okay so that's the the importing and the layouts interaction there's a few things that you could uh, take advantage of in the documents obviously the margins the layout color line background you have sections that you allow to see or not see it so you can modify keep the body you want to enable incremental fetch you probably do if you got a lot of data again there's a few properties here which format which export formats are available to you or the user in the web you can disable some which one would be your default start okay so some of them can be exported automatically you can save it to export so when a user opens it it goes to PDF automatically 
and then there's you know width mode if you want it fixed or not you can add a watermark again you can play with some of these options and the caching too you can disable it and enable it or use the default and the flash has a few you know options about how to realign itself and how to use the space and how to take advantage of the different uh, padding and then the preloaded panels whether you want it to preload or wait for you and again back to this showing and not showing so this is the basic this is a basic demo again that just uh, shows you how to export import different from different project sources from different d documents between different layers and how this all comes together so you can build the foundation for your uh, dashboards.